welcome to the 96 installment of Telem Alejandro, your number one place for sports, cars, video games, fitness. If you're a man, you're here. Mr. Alejandro, but tell him. What you about to tell him, Alejandro? Breaking news. Ray John Rondo has officially been traded from the Boston Celtics to the Dallas Mavericks, officially ending the era of the 2008 Boston Celtics champions. Aww. What does this mean for the two teams involved in the trade? What does this mean for the rest of the NBA? And what does this mean for Mr. Alejandro's New York Knicks? I cover these tough topics. Thank you for all the birthday love, but it's time to get back to business. On my birthday, Ray John Rondo was traded from the Boston Celtics to the Dallas Mavericks. Let's get into how this impacts both teams. First things first, the Dallas Mavericks now officially are a championship threat, in my opinion. That starting lineup of Ray John Rondo, Monte Ellis, Chandler Parsons, the Eagle, Dirk Nowitzki, and Tyson Chandler. Serious squad. They have no bench. They play no defense, but I do think they will find a way to get things together and they can compete with the Memphis Grizzlies and the San Antonio Spurs in the West. Golden State is making some noise too in the West, but I'm not too crazy about them because David Lee and Andrew Bogut are constantly injured. And let's face it, they're probably going to be injured come May, come June. And that's when they're going to need them the most. But I do think that Dallas is officially a serious, legitimate powerhouse squad. As for the Boston Celtics, I feel like the Boston Celtics got ripped off in this trade. They traded their star Ray John Rondo for Jameer Nelson, Brandon Wright, Jay Crowder, and future draft picks. Now what they're doing is smart. They're building for the future. I understand that. When you're a bad team, you need to lose a lot of games, get draft picks, draft goons out of college, and this is how you build a good squad. You pay top dollar guys a small amount of money. And you get to groom them. It's a good look. But TEA drinkers, I feel like the Boston Celtics could have got way more in this trade. They got three bums, no offense, and two draft picks. I feel like the Boston Celtics took too long to trade Ray John Rondo. Ray John Rondo is on the last year of his contract. And if they don't trade him by February, they're going to be stuck with him until the summertime when his contract expires. Then he becomes a free agent. Then he's going to basically tell the C's, deuces. He's going to go sign to a championship squad. Now, here's the problem. You are supposed to play it smart and trade him either over the summer or trade him last season. If you pay attention to the Minnesota Timberwolves, they traded Kevin Love over the summer. That's when you have the most leverage. NBA draft time. This is when you have that piece and his stock is at his highest that's when you get them off and you're gonna get wavy pieces right now i feel like you sold yourself short i feel like the lakers probably could have put together a better package or maybe even my new york knicks could have put together a better package for rondo but obviously they took the best package that was available right now and as we can see wasn't really a lot for ray john rondo another thing about the trade for the dallas mavericks is the fact that they were able to complete this trade all the credit in the world goes to the Eagle, Dirk Nowitzki. This summer, he went from the second highest paid player in the NBA to making annually less than $8 million a year. Him taking a $15 million pay cut is what allowed this trade to happen. This is how the Dallas Mavericks were able to trade for Tyson Chandler and sign Chandler Parsons to a chunky contract. Then the season prior, they added Monte Ellis and now they're adding Rajon Rondo. And we expect the Mavs to sign Rondo to a max contract after this season. Melo, Kobe, pay attention. This is the league that we're in, a salary cap league. Unfortunately, our top stars cannot make top dollar. Look at the San Antonio Spurs. Tim Duncan took a pay cut, and now you see they can build a squad around him. If you want to win in the NBA, you got to take a pay cut. If you take the big contract, I do not want to hear you complaining about you want to win a championship because you don't want to win a championship. You made the decision. I hope the rules get changed. Next time the NBA players and the owners sit down and negotiate a deal. But until then, this is what we're working with. Shout out to Dirk Nowitzki. Shout out! Now, as for my New York Knicks, if you're a Knicks fan, you already know that this is a complete nightmare. First of all, I always tell y'all this. The Knicks 
need a point guard. They desperately need this point guard. So desperately. It's like how a human needs food and water. They need a point guard to run their system. They need a point guard to get Carmelo Anthony the basketball in certain spots to help him succeed. Look at Starmelo's career. He has succeeded when he's had a solid, legitimate point guard playing alongside by him. Andre Miller, Chauncey Billups, Jason Kidd. You see where I'm going with this? You add Rajon Rondo with Starmelo, and that's just pressure for the rest of the NBA. Now that the Mavs got him, most likely they're going to sign him to a long-term extension after this season. This is not a good look for the Knicks. He was one of the 2015 free agent candidates for my New York Knicks. Now my New York Knicks are going to be looking at Marcus Gasol. They're going to be looking at LMA, LaMarcus Aldridge, and most likely those guys are going to sign with the teams that they're currently with right now for top dollar and also because they don't want to come to a losing situation. I really don't know where the Knicks are going to go from here. The two players that would have helped their system big time was Rajon Rondo, a facilitating point guard, and also Chris Paul, a facilitating point guard. This is trouble. If you're a New York Knicks fan, I feel your pain. But we're going to have to figure something out, Phil. You're getting paid 60 plus M's, buddy. You're going to have to figure something out after this season. We need some new goons. There you have it, folks. Mr. Alejandro's tough topic in the Tellum Zone. Who do you think won or lost in this trade? How do you think this will impact the rest of the NBA and my New York Knicks? Tell them in the comments. <laughs> Tonight's purple and green bow tie is brought to you by Countess Mara. Purple and green, cause I'm a lean war machine. Tune in for more sports cars, video game fitness, and all that. Follow at Tell them Alejandro to hear my immediate reaction to live sports events. Or if you want to hear me cover a certain team or topic, tell them. Outro music. Get it. Woo. Got the trade. Raise your bundle. Trade. Raise your bundle. Pronto. 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 Get it. Trade. Raise your bundle. Trade. Raise your bundle. Trade. 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 Raise your bundle. Trade. Raise your bundle. Pronto. Pronto. Trade. Raise your bundle. Trade. Raise your bundle. Pronto. Pronto. T-E-A, T-E-A, M-B-A, T-E-A, A, 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 A,